Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Huang here again. Today's lesson, we'll be looking at similar words. First, we are going to look at three words. They are said, told, and talk. Now, said is usually used when one is talking to himself or herself. For example, in this picture, it is a very hot day. And this boy is thinking to himself, what a hot day, he said. For me, when I'm swimming in the ocean, when I look at this little fish, I will think to myself, this fish looks delicious, I said. Now, told is the past tense of tell. It is used when you want to give instructions or tell people something, they listen. Like in this picture, the girl wants to buy ice cream. So she told the ice cream seller she wanted the strawberry flavor. So the girl will say, I want the strawberry ice cream. I told the ice cream seller. So that means the ice cream seller just listened. For me, I will gather all my animals in the forest. I will tell them I am the king of the forest. Wah! Bow before me. I told them. Now, talk involves two or more people. It's a different story altogether. I talk, you listen. You talk, I listen. We take turns talking and we take turns listening. Every day I will talk to my owner about how's the food and my owner will listen to me. And he will tell me his problems and I will listen to him. So do you talk to your family members or your friends about your problems? Who is the person that you talk to the most? So now let's recap. When we say talk, it's usually two or more people taking turns to talk. You talk, I listen, I talk, you listen. It's a two-way conversation. What else was said usually involves one person talking. So in this picture, you can see the boy is thinking to himself or saying to himself, what a hot day, he said. Now, just like talk, Told involve maybe two or more people. Now you might ask Miss Wong, Miss Wong, what's the difference between talk and told? They are both involve two or more people, right? The difference is for talk, it's a two-way conversation. You talk, I listen, I talk, you listen. We take turns. For told, it's only one way. I talk, you listen. Like the teacher told you to hand in your homework. Now, we have a big problem nowadays. Miss Wang here, a lot of students using the word nice to describe everything under the sun. Everything is nice. The food is nice. The apple is nice. The beach is nice. Daddy is nice. The toy is nice. The bed is nice. Everything is nice. That is a problem. When you use the nice to describe everything, we have a problem, especially with food. How am I supposed to know how it tastes like when everything is nice? I will use the word delicious to describe my food. The little fishes look delicious. Wow, isn't it great? Hi, my name is T-Rex. I use the word yummy to describe my food. Wow, don't you look yummy. Wow, I will use the word flavorful to describe my food. Look at the green pastures over there. Look at all the grass bursting with flavors. The grass is going to be so flavorful. I can't wait. Woo. Now, you guys describe my home, the sea, as nice. The sea is nice? What an understatement. The sea has such a beautiful scenic view. The view is picturesque. 
The view of the sea is definitely breathtaking. Another one is you describe every toy as nice. This toy is nice, the doll is nice, the unicorn is nice, the teddy bear is nice, everything is nice. No, 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 no. We don't describe it like that. We will say, the doll is beautiful. And then when the doll looks like a pretty young child, we don't say it's nice. We say it looks true big. And lastly, the doll looks like an angel. It is angelic. Well, I'm the expert at fruits. How dare you say fruits are nice? They are not just nice. Fruits are fresh, wholesome, nourishing, nutritious and healthy so now children there are many 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 words out there to describe things not just the word nice hope you can find more words to describe the things that you like bye